Okay, so this is how you do the whole heat holder engine thing. So first thing is you need a heat holder and you need the heat hit box. The heat hit box needs to be a flame layer. <clears throat> a flame layer basically will burn anything that touches it when it's active, just like a docking trigger will dock or attract docking ports, even if there's no docking port code. Um, it is the parts types that end up causing these effects, not necessarily the modules that include it. Now, in order for this to work, it does need to have a rigid 2D body and a 2D body collider. You want to click simulated here, and that's about it. Up here, you're going to want to play with the offset and the size, but you're going to want to make sure that it's 0, 0, and scale is 1, 1. This is very important because you don't want the heat box moving up and down when you basically shrink and enlarge it when you're having the plume take off. But you can play with these numbers here and I'll show you what to do with them in a second. Next thing you want to do is you want to go to the heat holder. Now the heat holder during operation is basically going to be scaled from 0 to 1. That's usually how it goes. Um, you can obviously go 0 to 10, 20, 30 and that'll expand the heat box as you see here. And we'll zoom out for a bit here. And if you're wondering where to place it, you can use the y-axis on the heat holder, not the heat hitbox. This is an important distinction. Because in the heat hitbox, what you're going to do is actually increase the size. And you'll notice that it goes up and down. So what you want to do is if you're going to pick 8, and that's the number I had there, the offset is half that, which is negative 4. The x-axis offset is zero because it's on the zero line and then as wide or as thin as you want it just don't make it zero because you'll get errors so that's sort of how that works and then that allows you to in the flame holder have it where you scale the oh this is wrong heat holder and you activate the heat hitbox because when the heat hitbox is deactivated it doesn't burn anything and when it's activated, it will burn something. Even if it's like 0, 0 or 0, 1, it would basically be a line in space that'll burn things that pass through it. So that's why it needs to be deactivated. Hopefully this explains how to make these heat holders. And obviously it doesn't have to be attached to an engine because it's live um, whenever it's active as a flame trigger again. You can make a lot of things create heat with a move command or otherwise not necessarily an engine. Anyway, I hope that's helpful. Let me know in the comments below what you think.